let's take a look at ongoing monitoring and evaluation of performance. Once the performance management system has been implemented organizational-wide, it's important to use clear measurements to monitor and evaluate the system. This involves understanding the extent to which the training programs are achieving the objective of minimizing rating errors. Evaluation data should include reactions to the system and assessments of the system's operational and technical requirements. For example, a confidential survey could be administered to all employees asking about perceptions and attitudes regarding the system. This survey can be administered during the initial stages of implementation and then at the end of the first review cycle to find out if there's been any changes. Interviews can be conducted with key stakeholders including managers and employees who have been involved in developing and implementing the performance management system. Several additional measures can be used on a regular basis to monitor and evaluate the system. One of the most basic measures is to assess the number of employees who are participating in the system. Quality of non-quantitative performance data. This information provided in an open-ended section of the appraisal form reflects the quality of performance data. Quality of follow-up actions. A good indicator of the quality of the system is whether it leads to important follow-up actions in terms of development activities or improved processes. A confidential survey can be distributed to all employees on a regular basis to gather information about how the supervisor is managing the performance discussion meetings. A confidential survey could also be distributed to assess the perception of the system's user, both raters and ratees. This survey can include questions about satisfaction with the equity, usefulness, and accuracy of the system. Overall cost-benefit ratios and return on investment can be beneficial. It's a fairly simple way to address the overall impact of the system and ask participants to rate the overall cost-benefit ratio. This is a type of bottom-line question that can provide convincing evidence for the overall worth of the system. A unit-level and organizational-level performance assessment is also important. This is another indicator that the system is working well and is provided the measurement of unit and organizational level performance. Such performance indicators such as customer satisfaction within specific units might take some time to be reflected in the organization. We should not expect results as soon as the system is implemented. We should start to see some tangible results at the unit level a few months after a system is in place.